What's up everyone, my name is Nairo and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video now It's been a while since I made an unboxing video Mostly because originally I was going to do one a while back But I decided to wait until I have a little bit more figures to unbox So as you can see, you can see I got one, two, six figures <laughs> Now, I bought this, some of these a while back, this one I bought today but like, like I said, I was gonna do one originally a couple a uh, couple weeks ago, but I decided not to. So instead, why not make a video where I unbox all of them? Even though the Funko are obviously gonna go back to the box, like to the fall or nothing. Anyway, so let's start off with the Resident Evil Tyrant Funko Pop. Now, this figure it took me a while to find. Luckily, I was able to find it a little bit cheaper than usual, so I managed to get this guy for a good price on in an anime store. Because some of the other stores that I went to, they had it for a lot, of, like a higher price. But luckily, I found this one. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks in the box. The reflection looks a bit bad there, but whatever. It looks really cool. Like this was the only one I was able to find. I I haven't been able to find. Some of the other characters like Jill, Leon, uh, uh, fuck, I forgot his name, <laughs> Nemesis, and the Hunters, and the uh, Lickers either. I haven't been able to find them, I don't know why. I think I saw the the Hunter once in, in a different mall, but I think that he was going for the same price as the Tyrant. But either way, let's go and open him up and open him up to see how it looks. Like I said, he's gonna go back in the box afterwards, but you know, we show to show him off. Grab the microphone is not in the way. There he is in all his glory. And there he is. Oh wow! His head actually rotates. That's I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or maybe it's like it's a little bit loose because of the molding, who knows? But oh my god. Like inside the box I couldn't tell that well if, if the model was that good, but like just looking at the gloss of the gloss on the veins and all that stuff, it looks pretty nice. Now here here's a closer look at Mr. Tyrant. With this giant little claw, it looks pretty cool. Honestly, I really like this Funko. I'm hoping that in the future they make more Resident Evil ones, even though they only have a few. Like, from what I saw here, they don't have... Uh, well, I already said it either way. I'm hoping that at some point they will make one for... For Chris, Claire, Sherry, and maybe Jake, who knows? Or maybe that, well, they, they never show his face even for the main character in Resident Evil 7. But it would be cool to actually show them as a phone call. <laughs> maybe if they actually do that, I might even do a, a stop motion video, but then The quality is actually pretty good for this guy. Even though some of the colors like around his claw are like overlapping, but you know, it's, it's, the, it's not that noticeable, but he's actually a pretty good figure. Now. Let's go ahead and put him back in the box so we can go with the next ones. I'm hoping that maybe in the future they will do a remake for Resident Evil called Veronica. Even though they already said they're going to be making one for Resident Evil 4, which I don't really don't understand why. I mean, sure it would be cool to see a remake of that, but I, I think called Veronica uh, needs more attention than that considering of his reputation. Even though eventually I'll be buying and thinking for myself. Also, eventually I'll have to finish my Let's Play of Resident Evil 1 from the Origin Collection on the PS4. Uh, I'm planning on doing that for for October, but I'm going to be starting from the beginning. Hopefully I have the infinite stuff at that point, but I haven't, even bought, I haven't even touched the game in a while. Well, yeah. Now, next up, we're gonna be opening this guy, 04. Now, 
The reason I bought them is because they look adorable. Plus, it's like a uh, it's literally a crossover of My Hero and Hello Kitty. Now, one of the th I, I wasn't able to find the Hello Kitty slash All Might one or the Bakugo slash Batsmaru. I mean, I saw him once, but then he got sold out. I don't know what happened after that. But I never found him ever again, or Hello Kitty. So let's start with Melody Ochako. She looks extremely adorable. But yeah, let me show you how she looks in the, inside that box. She looks extremely adorable. <laughs> I freaking love her. And here are the other characters in the back. There's Hello Kitty, All Might, and the other ones. I really, I really was hoping I could find the Hello Kitty one and Bakugo one today, but I couldn't find them at all. Not even in Hot Topic, surprisingly. <laughs> but whatever. Instead, I got this one today because I thought I had, to, and I just had to get her. Now let's go ahead and open what Choco Melody. Okay, what the heck is holding it back? There we go. Oh my god, she looks even more adorable. <laughs> oh my god, she's so cute! Look at her, look at her adorableness. Oh my god, this is like... Like it's like, you can see right, like right through it. That's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cute. It would have been cool if you like, if the lens would fall over. So that way it would, it would look a lot more cool, but she's extremely adorable. Here's her back. Your little tail, that's so cute. Like, I, I just love it. Like, I wasn't expecting them to do a crossover, like a Hello Kitty crossover with My Hero. I'm not a big fan of My Hero, but I just had to get them. They're too adorable and to pass over. So let's go and put her back in the box. Now you guys know why I wanted to do uh, an unboxing of a while back with all of, with all four of these plus Tyrant, but I didn't because meh. And here we go, Pochako Deku inside the box. I already showed you the bags from my father. So, yeah, so let's go take a look at him from the figure itself. This is gonna be a long unboxing video. I mean, only had three figures to unbox, but you know. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so fucking cute. Look at this little fella. He's so cute. And there is a little tail. So cute. And the costumes actually look pretty good. It would have been, it, it would have been funny if they would make a uh, version of... What's his name again? Pachaku? With the hood on, that would that would have looked really adorable. <laughs> or like one where like his mask is like half broken. That would be another good one. Or even or even better. I don't even remember. Let's see. I think this is the the Daku costume from when he got the when he started learning how to do that kick attack. Like I don't remember what it's called. Shoots? Was it? I don't I don't remember. Either way, he's fucking adorable, I love it. I'm hoping that we'll make more crossovers with other with other anime. There we go. I have to put you back in your box because if I leave them out and put them somewhere, they're just gonna fall over, like they did with my first phone call, which was a. Uh, Glitter of Miku. She was an exclusive one, but I opened her up. I decided to put her on my, on top of my shelf, and then it shook and she fell. And her, I think her, no, not her head, like her, her, her two twin tail ended up falling off, and I had to use super glue just to glue them back. And I learned my mistakes there. Oh yeah, and here we got Tuxedo Sun. Tuxedo Sam as Todoroki. Which actually makes sense considering he's a penguin and all. But like whatever. 
Now let's go ahead and unbox them to take a closer look. Now, from what I can see, the uh, tuxedo Sam, he's not gonna fall over even if I have to put him like outside the box, but I'm not gonna bother doing that or risk it for that matter. Because Funko Pops are meant to be kept inside their boxes. Unless you don't want to because like, they'll take a lot of space, but oh my god, he's a he's really big. He's a he's a shabby boy. Here's Tuxedo Sam as Todoroki. I find it really cute the fact that like instead of having like half my like, half of his face Wait. Never mind. Instead of having half of his like bluish color there, like half white and half red, he has his bow tie red and black and red and uh, and white. Which is super cute, along with a hat. I don't even know, like, I don't know that much about Hello Kitty characters, but I don't know if that hat was supposed to be like that. But he looks extremely adorable. He's super chubby. And let's see, where are those grenades? I never, I don't know what these things are supposed to be on, on his belt. Again, I don't know much about my hero, but still, here is back. Super cute. Still don't know what that's been. Whatever. Either way, he's super cute. I wanna see. Okay, so he doesn't fall, so that's good, I guess, but like I said, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna leave him out. I'm gonna keep him inside the box. So let's go ahead and put him back. But I just realized, I never show one of my friends this week, the Funkos, mostly because I haven't talked to them in a while. And he's, just specifically, he's a huge My Hero fan. Makes me wonder if he ever bought any figures. Also. I'm, I'm hoping that in the future they might do like a series 2 of these where they show like instead of this character but like they show the other one I forgot their names uh, uh, One for All it would be cool if we see a, a One for All like Hello Kitty crossover type of thing like you know like where, I don't know I guess I don't know many about uh, Hello Kitty or My Hero but you know I would like to see that also, I remember there's, there there was one character. I I don't remember, I don't know his name, but I know he's like a, he's, a, he's a dog, and he's yellow. I don't know if it's a Hello Kitty character or just a some real character in general. But either way, we got here Kettle Bee as Suyu. Super cute. Uh, pretty much everyone loves her, and specific, specifically the character here. I mean, the people that I've seen so far, they fucking love her. Or him, I'm, I'm not sure if Ghetto B is a boy or a girl. Like, I never, I don't even know that. Anyway, let's go and open up the box. Take a closer look at Ghetto B. It, it makes so much sense the fact they make Ghetto B Suyu because you know, Suyu is a, is a frog. And here we go. Like, there's not much to talk about Ghetto B here. Like besides the cute, the cute ass adorable face and smile, and here in <laughs> all the details on the costume, because on the back there's not much to talk about or show. I mean it's pretty much the rest of the belt, but you know it's pretty cute, super adorable. I really like the blush. I gotta think about it. If I ever become a really big My Hero fan, even though I like the series, but I'm not a big fan of it. I might one day do go well, buy the figures and do an unboxing on it. So that'll be fun if that ever happens. So now that I showed you guys all the My Hero crossover Funko Pop with Hello Kitty, let's go ahead and go with the grand finale, which is the Sword Art Online Asuna figure now. The well the box is already open, but that's because of the I put it inside my bag, my cousin's bag. Right? Now, the reason I bought also is because I recently started watching Star Art Online Isolation. Now, originally was I was planning on buying the Kirito and Yu-Gi-Oh! figure because they all go together like from back to back. I was originally going to buy that, but then I saw this Asuna figure and I, I, I just had to get it because she's doing this really cool like pose for her attacking. Like she's still, like spinning around her sword and that, and that looks really cool. And I had to get her, so I got her. Now I need something to open it up. 
Okay, there we go. Thank God it did not push the the camera away. That would have been bad. Using my, I have my scissor here in my Digimon little bag. Pencil bag. So let's go ahead and open her up and build her. I'm pretty sure. Like pretty much every anime figure that I buy. Which is one of the fun things about buying anime figures. You build them and they look cool. Also very really cool quality too. Crap. This bag is, is really also it's kinda hard to close sometimes. There we go. Again. Digimon. Now that I think about it, they did sell uh Digimon Funko Pops a while back. I don't know if they're gonna be making more. Hopefully they make one for V1 and the other characters from the next other series. Because the one that I saw they only had the one for Agumon, Gabumon, I think Patamon, Tai, and Matt. They know what his name, I'm not sure. Either way. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up Asuna. Take a closer look at her. Okay, we got her sword attack. Ooh, her tablet too. Damn, I'm gonna need the scissors again. <laughs> Gotta be careful with Asuna. Okay, that, I think that's pretty much it for all of our stuff. Just to be sure. Okay, this doesn't come out, I think. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up the stand. Yep, I'm definitely gonna need the scissors. Always keep scissors out when it comes to opening figures, specifically anime figures, because they come in tiny bags, really, really well sealed, and I'm terrible at opening bags. So let's go ahead and open up the stand. Caution and plastic bag can be dangerous to avoid danger of suffocation. I'm gonna need to suffocate with a tiny ass bag though. That's my question. Okay. So I'm just, this is the stand right here. I thought there was like a little thing there, but whatever. To make sure there's no other small parts. Okay. Now let's go ahead with. I guess no, this is just the uh, effect and sword. What else is missing here? Like, like it looks like something goes there, but like I don't know what. Well, either way, let's go ahead and open up Asuna. Uh, scissors. Okay, here her here's her skirt. I mean, you guys, you guys are gonna be seeing it like fully built once I'm done here. But like for now, might as well. Oh wait, there, never mind. There's the little thing I'm about for her to stand on. Other way, gonna be like some sticks or something like some of the other figures that I seen. Seen. But apparently not. Okay. Like I think. Not awesome, but like one of the cooler looking ones. That's because of the pose that she's doing the I'll be the hats at this point. Even though the Vegito figure that I bought a while back, which I did a unboxing video on it, looked pretty cool with the pose and everything. Now we got what the heck? <laughs> I need to show you this guys. The Asuna head with uh with all her bangs kind of looks kind of funny. I'm really excited for more episodes of Story on Online Asciliation, Asci Asciliation because like I didn't watch it at first but mostly because I thought it was gonna be the same thing as the original like basically the same plot and everything but I was wrong my friend was right and I was wrong 
Uh, this edition is a lot better than the original, as far as I see. Like, even though the villain is a complete psychopath, still is a pretty cool enemy. But we had the night fudge. I did not open it completely. I didn't even open the right side on the dingus. So let's go ahead and take out her bangs because she need them. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. Now let's go ahead and put her bangs on her head. Okay, they go pretty nice and snug. Now let's go ahead and put Asuna's long skirt thing. Uh, there we go. Now, uh, I think this goes like this. Yes, yes, good, good. And now we go put her head. Uh, let's see. There we go. There we go. And put her there. Am I putting her right correctly? I don't know. Okay. okay. I think I put her there like pretty snug. But the waist over here is not like going completely through. Or maybe it's not supposed to go all the way through either way. Here's the figure. And for some of you guys that are curious, this figure has underwear, but whatever, I'm not going to show it. But still, this is a really cool pose for her though. Now let's go ahead and put her on her stand. Let's see here. This one goes over here. Right? Am I putting it right? Yeah, that goes right there. There we go. They really should have put something like to balance her off. But either way, let's go ahead and open up. Oh, hey, it does have that thing. Good thing. It's a good thing, man. Because I was afraid that she doesn't come with anything to balance her because by putting her on her stand, it looks like she would she, and she could fall at some point and break because that would be bad. But from what I'm seeing, there is a little thing there for that. Now let's see where this goes. There we go. This goes where exactly? Oh wait, that goes right. Oh, oh shit! I had to take you out, Asuna, for a moment. Oof! That scared me for a moment. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's put you right there. Okay, now what else goes there? Hmm. Let me look at the box. supposed to go like this oh okay wait was I putting her wrong whatever now for her scabbard I wonder can you put the sword in her scabbard though even though there will be any point to the pose either way but still I'm pretty curious to see if the sword goes on the scabbard does it fit? Oh wait, nope. Never mind. There, is. there's no way to put it because it's completely sealed. And now for the effects. There we go. Now let's see here. Here's the uh, one of her slashing them attacks. And here's the other one. Let's see. The smaller one goes on top, so. First, I want to go and put the scabbard where it goes. Uh, let's see, it goes right there on her side. There we 
Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Stem sisters. <laughs> ah, shit, no. A little bit of the blue came out of, came out of the scissors, like, scissors, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Okay, came up. Okay, good, good. Uh, no spots left. Okay, good. Now let's go ahead and put on her sword. Which side does it go? Uh, there we go. Perfect fit. Now let's go ahead and put Asuna in her pose. There we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. Uh, this goes on her hair, right? Like this? No, it goes like this. There we go. Oh my god, I'm loving the statue. This figure, I love it. I love it, look. Uh, wait, does this go over here? Yeah, it goes over here. Why? I don't know. Right? I'm not even sure. This goes... I could poke my eye out by doing that. Oh my god. There we go. And she is done. She is looking pretty epic. Even though I don't know what's the point of putting those little holes on the bottom because like it's, it's not like she, the whole thing is gonna fit in there. Just gonna be like clinging onto it. That's about it. But here is Asuna in all her, all her glory. Pretty cool. I really love this. I'm glad I bought it. It only cost like uh, 34 dollars not a bad price for a figure that has like a effect thing around her, like doing an attack. But it's pretty awesome, I fucking love it. I'm hoping if they ever sell one of Kirito, like doing a special attack, or Sino. I did see a Sino one, but I think she was in a swimsuit. And I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I should even get an anime character in their swimsuit because that's just gonna spell out trouble in the future so I don't know if they're gonna do that either way here is Asuna the, the detail on her face really good honestly I really like it now I, sometimes I wish that when it comes to figures like this like when you put them together like for example Asuna because of her skirt like it doesn't go completely in honestly there's something that had to be fixed in the future I don't know how when, when was this made though when was this figure made? Oh, it was this year. I mean, it's still a pretty cool figure, but damn, I thought it was like older than that. Like back when they released the the original season. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Love the figures. I love the Asuna figure. Gotta find a place to put her. And as the same goes for Thai event and the My Hero crossover with Hello Kitty characters. But I love it. Maybe in the future I'll do another unboxing, not sure who. I don't know who I should buy next. I mean, like I said, originally I was going to get Kirito and Yu-Gi-Oh! But I didn't, because I don't know if, they get, if they're going to have the both of them together. Like, not in the same, in the same box, I think, but in like separate, separate ones, either way. So yeah, maybe I'll do that one day, and if they ever sell one for Warlord, I'll buy them even more. So here, another look at Asuna, with her glory of a text. So yeah, also, this is not related to the video, but I wanted to show it in either way. 
I got my uh, my second volume of Overlord visual, well not visual, light novel finally arrived. Now I haven't fully read, I think I'm in the first chapter or second chapter, I'm not too sure. But so far the book has been really good, especially when it comes to detail, damn, I fucking love it. Also, on July 1 of the days, during one of the weeks, I went into the gaming store and I found this little, this little baby. That's gonna be fun. Even though I'm still playing Animal Crossing New Horizon, I finally got my own island because my sister found her birthday gift a lot earlier, so I decided to give it to her, which is a Switch along with Animal Crossing. So now I can do my own island. So yeah. Maybe I'll do an Animal Crossing New uh, City Folks video. Maybe it's gonna be a one-off, who knows. Either way, this is the end of this video now. I'm planning on uploading, um, uploading a bunch of video for... Well, at this point, it's gonna be this week because this video is gonna be going on. I don't know what date it is. So it's 27, 29. Whatever. Next week, which is when September starts, I guess. Whatever. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe, share the video if you want to, all of that stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!